Hello, welcome to the iPhone RAW and HDR channel. In this video, we're going to be finding out how to use Luminar Neo to perform focus merging and determine whether it is any good, particularly for iPhone brackets. Luminar currently costs $150 for a perpetual license and that includes a RAW editor, focus stacking, and HDR merge. It is more expensive than Affinity Photo which costs around $75 US for a perpetual license. However, it is important to note that Luminar has a multitude of AI editing features like Mask AI, Lens Blur, Generative AI, Sky Replacement, and many more, which Affinity lacks. However, in this video, we will be focusing on its focus stacking capability. And as always, we will be using our partner app Aura HDR camera to take the focus brackets. In case you didn't know, Aura HDR is not only great for HDR bracket capture, it also works for focus bracketing. As a bonus, with every purchase of Aura HDR, you help keep this channel going. So here we are in Aura HDR camera. The steps for capturing focus brackets is the same as in previous videos. To focus bracket, Set the shooting menu to focus bracket. Next, tap on a part of the image to focus. Once the image goes into focus, tap add. Repeat on another part of an image. Continue until the entire image is covered. As a tip, you can over add focus points just to be extra sure you are not missing a particular point. Once done, make your device stationary by bracing it or using a tripod. Press the shutter. Aura HDR will take a series of shots at the various focus points you have specified. Once all the shots have been taken, a focus bracket done message will appear. By the way, as I was inside a cafe, I did not use any tripod for this shot, just to show that you don't need to use a tripod to focus bracket. Transfer all the shots from your iPhone library to your PC. Once transferred, open Luminar Neo. So here we are in Luminar Neo. The first step to focus bracket is to add the folder of images. Next, drag the brackets to the focus stacking panel. Ensure that image alignment is enabled. Once done, click the Stack button. There, a new focus stacked image is created in the focus stacking folder. Before we do the comparison, let's use Luminar's tools to sharpen the image further. I'll use the details panel for this purpose. There, the edit is done. Let's compare the focus stacked image with a single bracket. Here is the single bracket, and here is the focus stacked image. As you can see, a huge difference. The focus stacked image shows sharpness throughout the cup while the single bracket looks soft the further the area is from the focus point. So I think we can conclude that Luminar Neo is a worthy app for focus stacking. Let me know which app you use for focus stacking. I'd love to hear from you. And do consider Aura HDR Camera on the iOS App Store, the best app for focus stacking, HDR merging, and computational photography. See you in the next video.